Welcome to Australia's Pre-Sales Forum 2025. My name is Alberto Ramos. Today I will introduce you to the Falcon Eye project, but before we get to the demo, let's see how we got here. In 2016, Dell and EMC merged into a single federation. It took only three years for the new company to become the leader in a hybrid cloud. That's when the industry coined the term, the Super Federation. Three years later, the biggest space mission in 40 years launched. It was taking 10 astronauts and critical equipment to the ISS aboard the Falcon 13 shuttle. The expectation was enormous, but six minutes into the flight, the shuttle exploded in the air. The cause? A general failure in AWS Cloud where SpaceX was running their production systems. The stock market overreacted and severely punished SpaceX. Its viability was put into question. Meanwhile, everyone in the Super Federation felt devastated, as two of the astronauts were ex-EMC employees. But then, three days later, Mr. Dell and Elon Musk, in a joint press conference, announced that the Super Federation was going to manage SpaceX IT systems to shield future missions from so much cloud incompetence. The announcement restored investors' confidence and allowed them to stay in business. After the initial success with hybrid cloud, the Super Federation started to help in more areas such as Internet of Things. Our partnership has meant that the man will set foot in Mars ahead of schedule, just in time for Michael Dell's retirement. As he announced recently, his successor will be Mr. Chad Sackage. The three sites for the bases have been chosen. Base Alpha will be operational in early 2028. So what's Project Falcon I? Mars is not a friendly place for humans. The atmosphere is thin, weather is extreme and changes very rapidly, and there is not an ionosphere to protect from cosmic and solar radiation. To ensure human survival, Project Falcon I is building an automation system that reacts to environment changes. It also controls the gate for vehicle access. This is the system architecture. Photon microcontrollers are connected to a number of sensors as well as an override button because signals from Earth will take up to five minutes to travel. Depending on environment conditions, the microcontroller will trigger various alarms as well as the gate locking system. Communications will be handled with the MQTT protocol. The systems at the two control centers process the data to update the operations website and to send alerts via Twitter. Off-shift engineers can check the current status via an Android app. Finally, all data is logged into Splunk Data Lake where it can be viewed via a dashboard and used to build predictive models. The code has been open sourced and can be accessed in this GitHub page. This diagram of the prototype shows the actual cabling of all sensors and actuators. The final version of the circuit will be printed for 14 euro a piece. Now let's look at the demo. The main screen at the control center shows the status of the three bases, including its current values. Here we see the full prototype in action, including a model of the gate and a Raspberry Pi running MQTT. The readings are normal and the status is green. When a threshold is violated, the status will change to red, an alarm will sound and the gate will close. Now the control center screen shows the latest values and the base icon has turned red. Once the radiation storm is over, the system returns back to normal. Vehicles in the base are equipped with magnetic cards. This allows the prototype to operate the garage door automatically. On the left, we can see the MQTT messages as they arrive to Earth. Authorized vehicles are let in and the system knows whether they are leaving or returning. Unauthorized access attempts raise a Martian at the gates alert. The Mars Alerts Twitter page shows the alerts that have been generated. 
The Splunk dashboard shows the historical data as well as the correlation between the different variables. The mobile app for Android can be used to watch the current status. It can also show historical data. I hope you enjoyed this Falcon Eye presentation. Thanks for watching.